Hey Blast Tube, it's Patty again. I uh, want to go ahead and do a May whip update and the curiosity tag. I'm not sure who started the curiosity tag, but I thought I would just throw it in. And I'm kind of ad living it a little bit because I just wrote down some of the questions that I heard. So I hope I have all 10 of them and I hope I have them worded right. So I think I'll just go ahead and do the tag now and then show you my two works in progress. So first one is, how long have you been stitching? <clears throat> Sorry, I started stitching when I was a kid, but it was mostly uh, embroidery and uh, needlepoint. It wasn't cross stitch because I tried cross stitch as a kid and didn't like it at all. Um, and then as my kids got older, I picked up uh, printed cross stitch and I've got a couple of uh, things of that that I've done and I really liked that but uh, last year when um, uh, Frosty Pumpkin Stitchery came out with the Once Upon a Time fairy tale cross stitch that's when I jumped in and I finished that on time and I finished a couple of other little small projects so technically I've only been cross stitching for a little over a year Number two, do you like to frame, do wall hangings or cushions? Um, I have not, I do not have any FFOs of the new things, but I do want to do some framing and some wall hanging, but I just haven't done it yet. Number three, what is your, who is your favorite designer? I don't really have a favorite designer. I like Mirabilia, Nora Corbett. I have two of hers. I finished one of hers and I have another one to do. Um, I just, since I'm, and I like pop, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, I have a couple of theirs that I've finished and I really like and I have one that I need to finish and I just haven't done it yet. But yeah, um, I really don't have a favorite. I, I just like different looks of different um, designers. <clears throat> Number four, what is the most you've paid for a cross stitch? Hawaiian Garden Mandala by Chatelaine. And that's all I'm going to say because it was stupid expensive and I really need to do it, but I really love it. So I, yeah, enough said. <clears throat> How many hours do you spend cross stitching? I try not to spend a whole lot of time cross stitching, um, maybe two to three hours sometimes because I also, since I am a stay at home person, I have a house to clean and I still like to knit and spin and read occasionally and talk to my husband. So I try not to do it a lot, but I end up doing it three or four hours. Not every single day, but when I do, I usually sit for a while. At least two TV shows worth. Um, do you have your FFOs? Do any of your FFOs have major mistakes? Since I really don't have any FFOs, I can say no. And I can also say that with my things that I need to frame, no. Um, I either stop doing it and rip it back and I usually try to catch it before it gets too out of hand. So it may be a stitch here, a stitch there off, but nothing major. And if it is major, I just throw it away. Because it's just, a, you know, it's not worth worrying about and being upset about. You can always get more. And I've learned that with knitting, so it, it does relate into cross stitch. So, yeah. Number seven. What is the piece you are most proud of? Um, right now, it would be my January Garnet, January Garnet Fairy by Mirabilia. Even though when I washed it, the colors ran. But the piece is so pretty that even though it almost made me cry, that is the piece I'm most proud of. <clears throat> I just need to uh, figure out how to get the dye out without it running even worse because the orange is running into the lighter colors and I'm afraid to do anything with it because I'm afraid it'll get worse and just frame it and I may just frame it anyway 
with even with the the run because I'm not gonna show it to anybody it's just for me so if you get law if you lost your stitching bug what do you do to get it back floss tube floss tube will get my stitching bug back like that I love watching you guys I love watching um, the patterns and seeing what you're all doing so yeah YouTube floss tube uh, awesome Do you have to finish a project or can you start another? I do not have to finish a project. If I get to the point where I can't stand looking at the project anymore, I can roll it up and put it away and hope that someday I get back to it. Because I'm also one that if I've lost the urge to, to stitch on it and I don't want to do it anymore, I don't. I just put it aside, take the floss back, put the floss away and... Uh, you know, I've got one right now. It's a heaven and earth that's in that. It's in that limbo area, whether I'm going to finish it or not. And the one before that, I just stopped because it wasn't what I wanted. So I just stopped doing it. But I can't have too many going. I can't have too many works in progress going or it drives me crazy. So the two that I have is my limit. <clears throat> Okay, and then it is, what is the most, what is your most hated type of stitch? If you, we were talking embroidery, it would be the satin stitch. I absolutely hate the satin stitch because I can never get it to lay right. With the other stitches, I haven't done any specialty stitches, so I can't say if I hate them or not. The French knots are fine, back stitch, whatever, or cross stitch, half cross stitch. I don't like the quarter cross stitches. They're not very fun, especially on 8 o'clock. But, yeah. Um, once I get to um, the Chatelaine done, then maybe I'll let you know. Or if I ever try hard hanger, I'll let you know. But right now, I don't really have one except for satin. All right. <clears throat> now it's time for the May Whip update. I started May 1st, the Blue Dragon, the Heaven and Earth Designs, and this is the mini, but I got it on the large format. And I did start this, like I said, May 1st. I am still on page one because this is my Saturday and Sunday stitch. Sometimes if I'm bored on Fridays, I'll grab it, but mostly Saturday and Sunday. So this is page one of the large format. And the second one that I've been working on since March 1st is the Woodland Enchantress by Dimensions Gold. There we go. So May, March 1st, I got the first page done. April, for April, I got the April page done. But May, since I picked up the Blue Dragon, I did not get the third page done. So, here we go. I am almost done with the third page, and then I have all the back stitching to do. But I like hoops, so she lives in a hoop. But I'm almost done with that page, and then I get to do that fourth page and all the back stitching. I'm hoping to get this done by September, since I think I could. I dropped it. Ah, pattern down. I think I can finish. Well, I know I can get, June I can get the third page done and start on the fourth page. July I probably can finish the fourth page if everything goes as planned. Um, and then spend no, or November. <clears throat> August best, back stitching her. But I really like how she's turning out. She's so beautiful. So... Yeah, that is my curiosity tag and my whip updates. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do these once a month. I may do a stash flash for you because I do have patterns that I have two bunches of patterns. One that I'm going to do in the next two years and ones that are further out. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and I guess I'll see you either for the stash flash or another tag, or next month.
Bye.